for cancer, we want to make sure that no one have any fears and phobia that would weaken them even more to deal with the so-called disease of cancer. So we want each individual um, to strengthen their weakness, and by strengthen their weakness, then they could withstand the ailment and also the treatment uh, of the ailment. And um, the treatment will not weaken them. And it's not something they have to fight against. So when a person fights against the disease, you usually make the disease more uh, dominant by fighting it. Well, when it comes to mental illness, we are concerned that situation is more of a non-physical experience. And we're not gonna put a label what kind of mental illness. We will just find a weakness to strengthen the, the person who have that kind of illness um, to withstand their, their life situation and not having a reaction, any emotions, and psychological um, factors that, uh, that they have to struggle with at the regular basis, and also spiritual uh, problems that they may have. And we want to strengthen the person so one of a problem becomes less of a problem for that particular person. So a person, by strengthening all their weaknesses, they would be better than their normal self and most likely to be better than the normal uh, population. So this your method is not based on any philosophy, it's based on the principle. When we get results, then we will establish the uh, workable principle uh, every time we use the principle and we're not into philosophy. Philosophy is just a discussion uh, what the problem is and it doesn't resolve the problem. Um, there are somewhat of an Eastern principle behind it that I use. I, I never support any philosophy until that philosophy is used and establishes itself as a principle. Otherwise, uh, it's just a lot of time and energy wasted on discussion what a philosophy uh, entails.